an incredible athlete as, uh, with an amazing backhand. Charismatic for sure, a little bit crazy also. Inconsistent. Enthusiastic. Special. A very passionate player. So big and so strong, so you need to take care about what you say about him. A very wild personality on and off the court and that's why we love him. Marat Sakin burst onto the tennis scene, winning the 2000 US Open at the tender age of 20. A big personality with a game to match, the Russian proceeded to capture the hearts of the tennis world for the best part of a decade. In a career that has delighted, frustrated, but most of all entertained. He's a very interesting guy uh, with a lot of charisma and uh, he brings a lot of excitement on the court and off the court, so tennis will uh, uh, certainly miss him. Tennis will, uh, will miss him because, you know, he was a uh, he was a very good player, very nice person. And I think I think uh, people uh, loved loved uh, the way he was playing, the way he is. Oh, so it was a good guy for for tennis. He's a pretty intimidating guy to play against. He's you know obviously a big big guy, um, you know very charismatic, and he you know hit the ball huge. I, I was used to playing against juniors, and that was one of the first you know top guys I played against, and. Um, he got the better of me on that occasion, but uh, great experience for him. I have many great memories of Murat, really, when I think of him. I think of, a, of an incredible player, you know, with incredible potential and, uh, and you know, what a great player he really was for his uh, height. He was really strongly built, he was able to move on the court, you know, and make it seem like uh, he was a little guy, you know, but he still had the power of the big guy. So he was, uh, I think, one that also revolutionized uh, the game a little bit. Um, and so it's, it's sad in a way to see him go, but, uh, but still he was able to do great things in, in our sport. He was a, such, a, such a champion, you know, he was a player who had a great charisma, you know, who was able to, to bring the people to, to the courts, you know, he had a big temper, you know, and, uh, you know, everybody said when uh, Marat was on, it was very tough to beat him, he, he would beat anybody in the world and, uh, you know, some, uh, some time of his career, some part of it, uh, he was doing that, that he was number one in the world winning Grand Slam tournaments and, uh, you know, he always came with uh, something. A former world number one, Grand Slam and Davis Cup champion, it's now time to bid the big Russian farewell as he bows out of the limelight here at the VNP Paribas Masters, a tournament he's won three times. Marat Safin, thanks for the memories. Goodbye, Marat, and uh, you know it was nice to nice to meet you and nice to see you around all these years. And I wish you all the best in your life after the after the tennis, and hope to still have a relationship with you because you are a great guy. Uh, thanks, Marat, for you know all the all the great matches. Um, you know, really really enjoyed watching you play, and I'm sure the the whole of tennis is going to miss you. Obviously, it's not easy to say bye bye. I think that it's better to say that I hope to, to see, you, see you soon in, in the tournaments, maybe not playing, but just being there and uh, supporting tennis. But, uh, it's a great sport and, and that everyone has enjoyed it with you. Marat, the whole tour is going to miss you. Think about staying. Sure, uh, it was a pleasure to, to know you and I hope to, to keep in contact with you. See you soon. I only wish you the best and uh, I still hope to see you around sometime. Because I'll be in tennis, you know where to find me, so take it easy, bye-bye. Uh, we'll ski this winter, so we'll, I'll see you there. <laughs>